Hello, my name is Veronica and welcome into the Learning Lab. I'd like to share with you today what I learned with Just Right Papercraft at a recent Stamp and Scrapbook Expo in Chantilly, Virginia. Come on in and let's get started. This time my class was with Just Right Papercraft and it was on multi-step stamping. Uh, if you watch my videos, you will see where I scored a slew of all to new multi-step stamps at an estate sale that I went to and I thought let me find out how to do this the right way so I took the Just Right uh, workshop on doing that. Now I've got to tell you I don't know if multi-step stamping is for me. <laughs> it's hard work. I know when you watch the YouTube videos they really do make it seem so easy. Now during the workshop we practiced and this was my first attempt and as you can see this edge did not quite line up for me. And then when I did it the second time, I was a little more pleased with my results. And by the third time, I kind of figured out what I needed to do and what I didn't need to do in order um, to make this work. So let me go on to the card that I created. I did not quite totally finish it, but uh, it looks like this. And uh, it's backed by some purple paper and then you would then mount that on to your black for a really pretty card. And on the sample, if you look at that, it has birthday wishes stamped on there. I initially wanted to do, and she had a lot of stamps out for you to choose from, I had wanted to do just for you, but it wasn't coming out as dark as I wanted it to. The lady next to me had her Misty out, and if she had been finished with her card, I would have been like, uh, can I use that to stamp this just for you a few times? The only problem was the ink uh, that was available. I would have used the Versafine um, Onyx Black, which I absolutely love. But that was one of the cards that we created. And it also came with the little um, black pearls that I can, the beads that I can put on the corners as they had it done in the example. Now the other card that we did not get an opportunity to make, but because I had gotten down the basics of how to do it, the other card just involved doing some fussy cutting around the flower to mount that onto a stepper card. And that one looked like this. So we didn't get to cut those out. And then here are all the components to that. I love uh, this little die cut florist that's going to go on either side. This one went down at the bottom. I don't quite remember what these two little flowers were for, but um, you had the bees and this was what went into the center and then your flowers were going to be on either side in order to get that lovely card. So I am going to have to give my multi-step stamping um, some practice until I'm better at it. One of the things that I did on, now on here, I didn't like the yellow showing on top of the purple. So uh, the ladies next to me, we all decided that we would stamp the yellow first and then we would go back with the darker purple so it would be on top of the yellow and not the other way around. So it'll take a little uh, playing around for me to see. And um, I think I will eventually like it it may not be my first go-to right now ideas are swirling around in my head that were I to create these how I would do things a little differently and I have been doing hand drawing some flowers and I'm gonna see what I can come up with uh, on my own now you know I like to take classes that give back and just right did we wound up coming home with these clear set of clear stamps and these are them. They're all numbered, telling you the order in which to stamp them. So I thought that was a great value for it. But in addition to this, we also got a voucher to spend in their booth and you could use it on a set of clear stamps or a clean background stamp. So I went trotting off to the booth on the last day of the expo, trying to see what I could find. And I have to tell you, in my opinion, the pickings were pretty slim. So after spending about 20 minutes going back and forth on what to get, I finally decided on this Songbird background stamp. I figured I could use it to pop some coloring. I could also use uh, some mixed media with that. I think it would be great. And it's very not what I would normally gravitate to. 
so that also made me get it this is going to pull me out of my comfort zone and require me to try to do things a little differently and in my own opinion i think that's going to be pretty good for me because you can get stuck in a rut this will allow me to think outside the box and pull in some new techniques and it is a beautiful beautiful uh, red rubber stamp and look at the detail on that so although I felt the pickings were slim they probably weren't it just depended on what you were looking for and now I've seen a lot of their stamps online and I did not see those in their booth so uh, you might want to step that up just right but other than that I really enjoyed the class and um, and if you have the opportunity to take one of their classes I would say do so because between the two of these the class basically paid for itself so in my <laughs> esteemable opinion it was well worth it but uh, this is a little cute card and I just have to finish it off with um, a greeting on there I like it as always thank you for joining me in the lab today please be sure to check out my blog at inclusions.blogspot.com until then